Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Boris Pasky and Bobby Fischer. This game was played in Saint Stefan in 1992. Saint Stefan is in Montenegro, and this was the last game of the match. This was five million dollars match between Boris Pasky and Fischer. Boris Pasky had white pieces, and he started with d4. Fischer played knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, e4, and we have king's Indian defense. d6, and after f3 we have same-ish variation. Black castled, bishop to e3, knight to c6, knight from g to e2, a6, h4, starting the pawn storm, h5, knight to c1, knight to d7 was criticized by commentators as not being the strongest move here, knight to b3, a5, a4, knight to b4, bishop to e2, b6, so I'm putting the way for the bishop, g4, pawn takes pawn, f takes on g4, c5, and h5. Okay, let's have a look at this position. At this stage, it looks like that Boris Pasky has much better position. What do you think? King looks quite vulnerable here. Okay, let's have a look what happened. Pawn takes pawn, Knight takes on d4, knight to c5, and knight to d5. And knight is sitting very nicely on d5 now. Bishop to b7, and it is white to move. Perhaps the best move in the position would be to play knight takes on b4, and after pawn takes, to play bishop to f3, and white is slightly better. But that wasn't ambitious enough for Spassky, he calculated that knight to f5 is going to be a very good move, because by sacrificing the knight, he wants to dismantle the fence around black king, and he intended to win in a spectacular way, perhaps. Okay, Fischer captured the knight, g takes on f5, and now Fischer removed this knight that was sitting so nicely on d5 e takes d5, and now black's king looks quite vulnerable here. But Fischer rightly calculated that taking pawn on b2 is good move. What should y do? You respect rook to b1, maybe rook to g1, we check. Instead, king to f1 was played. Not the strongest move. And now you could expect Fischer to capture the rook immediately. But he played queen to d7, attacking f5 pawn. Now queen to b1, protecting the pawn, and only now Fischer takes. Rook to g1, check. Fischer played king to h8, walking into check after queen captured the bishop. But this wasn't a problem because f6 and king is safe from the queen and the white queen is on the wrong side of the board. She should be on the king side. Okay, white played queen to b1, protecting pawn on f5. Rook to g8. Fischer is ahead in material, and he wants to exchange pieces. Rook to g6. Rook takes rook. Pawn takes rook, and now king to g7, with the idea to bring rook to h8. A4 pawn is under attack, and Fischer has a winning position. Not much fireworks in the last game. Uh, Spassky resigned at move 27, and uh, he was just happy to finish this match and collect his $1,350,000, and Fischer got $3.5 six million dollars. This was the last 
official game that Bobby Fischer played, he died at age of 64. And like preacher said in church, man, from dust you came, and to dust you must return. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoyed it.